In this video, we're going to be covering the Automation Direct Coyo CPUs. You can find more help on our website, and you can also find the cables on our website. These are the cables that we have that are compatible with the Automation Direct and Coyo CPUs, also the Click CPUs. First, we need to open up Device Manager and our programming software. We're going to open up DS Launch so we can create a link. Let's open up the Device Manager so we can see what COM port is being loaded to. Hardware and Sound, then Device Manager. Plug in the USB cable. You can open up the ports to see where the COM port is loaded to. Right now we have a default of COM1. The USB will load another port. So CH340 is the chipset. Then our COM port is going to be COM3. I'm going to intentionally make this have an error to it. Just so we can cover it and you can see how COM1 and 2 is only ones that are highlighted in here or active. So let's go ahead and start it back up. Notice COM3. Let's change this to COM2. Port settings, advanced, select COM2, click OK, OK again, and you notice that our port has changed to COM2. Open up DS Launch again. Add a link, COM2. K sequence is the one that we use. And this is the error. So to fix that error, Again, and this is common with a lot of USB cables. Once you change the the COM port number, you need to reset it. So if you simply close down the program that you're running, unplug the cable, and plug the cable back in. Com2 again. And it finds the port that time. So now let's name it Test USB. That's our link name. So we'll go ahead and finish this. And then let's upload the program. So you see on the bottom Test USB and it's in green. So it means it's inactive. Open up the programming software. And we'll just give it a generic name. This is actually a 250 that we want to upload from. On the top, click on PLC, then connect. Highlight our active driver that we want to use.
and this time we just use disk. You can use the CPU or you can use the what you have on your disk. And that's it. We're online.